Hi, this is Terry Wright. I'm here with Berwick Community Media and we are at the 10th annual car show posted by the American Legion Post 79 and I'm here today with Robert Patch Jr. Well Robert, this is quite the car that you've got behind us. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, it was my dad's and um, it's a 1955 Thunderbird. It's pretty unique. It <laughs> yeah, it's a special place because it was my dad's, you know. Oh, so you inherited it from him? Yeah. Have you done any work on it? Uh, actually, me and him built the car together. What year was that? <sighs> Probably 30 years ago. 30 years ago. That's fantastic. Do you drive it around? Yeah. Oh, good. That's how me and him spend time together because he's passed on. So, yeah. So. That's really nice. Yeah, so. That's that's awesome. And is this your first time to the car show or do you come regularly? No, we've been coming here for 10 years or better. Oh, so you're an anniversary person too. Yes, we are. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending a little time with us today. We really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hey, Terry Wright here with Berwick Community Media, and this is Brian English and Andy Buckman. Sorry, sorry, Andy Buckman, and we're here to talk a little bit about the car show today. So this is the tenth anniversary, Andy. Have you done every year? Yes. Wow. How's it feel to have ten years? Well, it, it's been a challenge at times, but most of the time it's been great. Yeah. You know, the the car owners are great. They don't get rowdy. It's just, you know, just been a good all-out day. And every year we draw the big numbers, which is good. How many and, cars are here today? Uh, I think right now it's around 160. And uh, they're still coming in. So we just walked up through the back, and there was cars that we didn't know were here. So there's another whole group up in the back. Uh, some of them haven't registered, so we don't know, you know, whether they're, you know, here because the numbers from the registrations tell us what we're doing. Right. Um, but the thing that I'd like to mention at foremost is that all of the money that is raised here goes to caring for our veterans. And uh, this year we have been able to the generation, gen yeah, generosity of our sponsors we and and not just this one but all our events we've been able to start a veterans fund only which uh, we run out of our out of our general fund with most things but when it comes to veterans care we have a very large amount of money that we can give out and they don't have to be a member of our post all they have to be is a veteran period and they don't have to even live in Berwick so you know, we take care of all veterans. That's fantastic. So, Brian, I understand that you are actually the, um, and I'm not sure what you call chair for the Legion, or? I'm the a commander. Oh, commander, yep. okay. And how long have you been the commander? Um, I just finished my second term and just starting the third term as a commander of the post here in Barwick. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And I understand that the Legion does quite a few fundraisers. This isn't the only one. That's right, right. yeah. Um, this is, we have the big three that we call it right now, uh, there's three or four events that we do. Uh, Andy Buckman has done a great job in raising funds. Uh, we also have a, a golf tournament that will be in October. Uh, it'll be our second year this year uh, at the Lynx uh, Outlook uh, in South in Berwick, uh, South Berwick and Berwick in, uh, in both towns. And uh, last year we had about 160 golfers there uh, and we're looking for another great event there. And we also did a uh, walk-a-thon uh, with uh, Tri-City Motors, who's a generous uh, corporate donor. And uh, as Andy said, we set aside a Veterans Assistance Fund with uh, funds that are earmarked for veterans, and we continue to raise money and put that back to use. And uh, we want to set aside a legacy so that uh, down the road when uh, we're gone, that those funds will still be in place and we'll be able to continue to support veterans uh, within our community. And uh, we're grateful for the opportunity for each one that's here that supports uh, the fundraisers we do. We do the uh, Poppy Drive is another fundraiser uh, that was uh, 
coordinated by Tony Sincato, uh, one of our local Berwick treasures as well. And so we're very fortunate to have these uh, uh, people involved in raising funds, uh, but yet without the community coming together and the support of uh, groups like BCM, and uh, uh, we would not be able to do this. And so we're grateful for having these funds of uh, uh, events to raise the funds to put them to work for our community. Oh, thank you very much. Um, one of the questions I did have for you is how can people get in touch with you if they're looking for assistance? If you're looking for assistance, I would uh, suggest if you go to the town website, you'll find a link there that links to the uh, American Legion. You can also directly look for our site. Uh, and uh, I've, my phone number, the contact information for our officers is there. Uh, you can reach out to us. Uh, we're looking for opportunities for nonprofits that uh, assist veterans that we can help fund. And also on an individual basis, if there's a veteran who needs help, uh, we're available to do that. And uh, just contact uh, me or one of my officers through the website, uh, phone numbers or, or email, and we'll get uh, to working on getting that uh, distributed to where there's a need. And. Uh, Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Um, wishing both of you well today. Thank you. I'd like to thank you guys for what you do. Uh, Berwick Community Media has been very good in supporting us, and uh, we applaud uh, both uh, Terry and Ralph, and thank you for being here today. Hey, this is Terry again. I'm here with Brian Call. Brian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, tell us a little bit about your vehicle. Uh, it's a 1969 um, Ford F100. Uh, it's got a 302 engine in it. It's all stock. Uh, it's got 63,000 original miles. Uh, I bought it about three or four years ago, okay. and um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Is this something you always wanted to own? I'm sorry? Is it something you've always kind of wanted to yes. own? Is Yes, always. Because my husband's kind of a, a guy who likes the old trucks, too. Yeah, and, um, and back when I was a kid, a teenager, I had an old beat-up one that I, you know, beat the crap out of. Uh -huh. And I always wanted one, and uh, I ended up finding one actually during the COVID. So, yeah, I bought it in um, Wisconsin, and I had it shipped to me sight unseen. Wow. Yeah. Trusting us. Yeah, I was like this the whole time. <laughs> and when I got it and it came out of the truck, it was better than what I thought it was. Volkswagen nut and the first one here is a 67 21 window deluxe the next one's a 66 13 window deluxe and then we've got a 71 double cab and then the other one's a 79 Iltis and then the last one is a 95 uh, it was like a fire support vehicle these two were owned by twin sisters in California so it was kind of funny that they're same almost same colors and stuff just one year different and uh, the other one, that one, the gentleman that bought that brand new bought it in Vermont and he's still, he's in his 90s and he lives down on the Cape. I've been here once before and I think it's a great show. Uh, and I talked to Tony and Andy and uh, they had said that last year you guys had 185 cars, which is a hell of a turnout, right? So hopefully you'll do the same, if not more today, right? I'm Don. Robin. Robin. And, and you're from where? We're from Sanford, Maine. Sanford, Maine. Yes. And your car is? It's a 1948 Chevy. Wow. That's Very a, nice. Yeah. yeah. It has a 350 under the hood. I bought it last year. Haven't done much to it yet. So what, what prompted you to buy this car? Well, our truck was a little small. We had a 41 Dodge pickup, which is uh, too small for us and the dog, and had to get something bigger, so. Oh, okay. I dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I didn't know if this was something you'd always kind of wanted. Yes, or he has. He's always wanted always a hot rod. Something of interest, you know. Exactly. Right. It, it caught my eye. So. It caught your eye. And do you just drive it around, or you do car shows, or what do you do? We do car shows. We do car shows. Yes. Just car shows. Yep. We drive it around. I'll go on a little jaunt. There you go. Dana Hall and Paul Kennedy. Um, Dana, how many cars you got in car show this year? Fifteen. Fifteen cars. Can you name them all? Paul can. Oh, <laughs> no. What are the cars that we got here today? Forty-eight Crosley, sixty-two Buick, seventy-five Caprice Classic, forty-eight Studebaker, fifty-seven Chevy, uh, eighty-nine Fiesta, Miata. Yeah. The El Camino, I'm not sure of the year on that one. And the uh, 48 Farmland. Mono Road. Wow, that's a Bronco. lot of 90 cars. Bronco. 90 Bronco. All right. Now, you've been coming here how many years, did you say? Ever since they've had the show. Ever since, so that's 10 years. Yeah. Same with us, you're celebrating the anniversary. Yeah. 10 years. <laughs> um, so how long have you been collecting cars, actually? His whole life. Yeah. His whole life. Wow. Some of these I've had since day one. Yeah. 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 Um, and the car show gives you an opportunity to kind of bring them out, or do you take them out all the time? No. That's the only place we take them out for. That's it, huh? Well, we really appreciate you bringing them here today for everyone to see, and we appreciate you taking the time to uh, donate to the car show as well. Well, we appreciate you guys having the show and doing the great job you've been doing. You, you got know, a good crowd. And yeah. all the work your people the put into it. Put in, right. There's a lot of work to it. So I'm here today with Nicholas Guy, Karen Guy. All right, and you have what cars here? A '59 Vet okay. Chevy makes it, and a '57 Chevy. Ah, you a Chevy guy? No, I'm a Ford guy. <laughs> well, I you, just you have come... made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just come across them, so I when bought them. When he said he had a chance, an opportunity to buy the '57 Chevy, I said yes, buy it because that's the year I was born, and that's my baby. <laughs> but this is his baby, the '59. Okay, yeah. you weren't born in 59, no. no. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Just 55. You're not supposed to give it away. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> Have you done any work to these? Oh, that a took me three years to build, and probably a year and a half, because some of that was done. Okay. Yeah, this came in two pieces. The body and the frame were in separate pieces when we got it. Wow. So we spent a lot of work to that. Yeah. And a friend I went us, right through the whole thing. Yeah. Well, the color is kind of my favorite. Mm. It's original color. That's an original color? Yeah, but I had it painted, but it's original color. That's beautiful. That's yeah, really um, beautiful. Guy in Berwick actually did the paint job. Mike's Auto Collision. Yeah. Wish the Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Keeping it in town. I like that. Yeah. He did a fantastic job. He did a fantastic job. Beautiful. All right, so here's my big question of the day. Do you just take it to car shows or do you drive them? I drive them. This is the first car show I've ever been to. This... <laughs> well, I think that's almost a sin, isn't it? I don't know. Everybody's been asking him, when are you going to bring your cars to the car show? Yeah. So, he finally did it. So I did it. I'm Braden Lutke with Troop 313. I'm Thomas Winsel. I'm Matthew DeRosa. I'm Brett Comiskey. I'm Patrick McPeak. Dylan Brown. And we're here today at the car show in order to sell baked goods for camping gear for our Boy Scout troop. And is this your first time at the car show? Personally, this is my first time here, but I know last year. Actually, you want to talk about it? Sure. So yeah, this is Braden's first time in the car show, like he said, but the troop is here almost every year. I don't know exactly when it started, but we've been running for quite a while, and it's been pretty fun. We made a bit of money to be able to go to summer camp and such. My name 
name is Chris Arroyo. I'm from Scarborough. The car is a 1957 Thunderbird. I got it at uh, Motorland in Arundel. Uh, it's Thunderbird bronze, they call it. It is an original color. And your name is? Brian Finnegan. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your car? It's a 1973 uh, Nova Skyroof. It's a rare vehicle. Um, I've had it about 15, 18 years. Um, picked it up in Florida and drove it home. And it's history ever since. So you're pretty happy with it then? Yes. Yeah. Have you done any work on it? I did. It had a uh, cracked main when I bought it. So if you're going to hone the mains, you might as well stroke the motor. So I stroked it up to a 383. Wow, that's going up there and bed, isn't it? it got is. some power, does it? It does, it does. I took the uh, four speed out, the Muncie, and put a Tremec 5 in and a Ford 88 rear end. Wow, that's awesome. And um, do you just do car shows or do you actually drive it around? I drive it around town any chance I get. Good, we're glad to hear. You gotta drive them, you gotta drive them. And let me ask you, is this your first time at the Berwick Car Show? It is. I just moved to Berwick from Massachusetts. Well, welcome. Terry Wright here with Milton Fogg, and we're here to find out about your fundraiser today. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going yep. on? So uh, Hall's Roofing donated to us uh, Zach Brown tickets that we're raffling off to raise money for our association, which our association is what we use to uh, sponsor soccer teams, Little League baseball teams, all kinds of stuff like that throughout the community. It all goes back into our community. So That's really yeah. nice. Yeah, they're great tickets too, right down by the standing room only area there's two of them so it'll be a great concert and it's sold out too so make sure you get your tickets and what's this vehicle behind us this is a, a pd atv that we got on a grant from the warden service so it's what we use to patrol out in uh, ridland road hatfields area we do all the patrol out there so we get a grant every year to go out and patrol those areas okay so, um yep. that looks like a lot of fun yeah yeah that's the that's the good part about having it is we get the kind of have a little fun as we're getting paid to be out there <laughs> monitoring stuff. But yeah, it's fun. It, we enjoy our time out there with it. So The other raffle that we're doing is the Special Olympics. They're doing a side-by-side. -side. There's a picture of it right over here to your right. And that one is being drawn October 27th. The ticket price is $20 a ticket on that. And that benefits Special Olympics. David Pelletier from Elliott, Maine, and uh, I've got my 1977 Volkswagen Westphalia bus. Uh, got it right out of a junkyard in my old salvage yard. Somebody turned it in for junk 15 years ago, and I, uh, I just got hooked on it, sat in it one day, and, and got hooked on it. And like I was telling this gentleman earlier, my wife says, I don't know who you are anymore. It's all about the bus. It really gets, it really got a hold of me. But um, I love it. We use it. We we use it for camping and cruising around. Uh, you know, it looks beautiful, but we definitely use it. Uh, it's got a stove, a sink, refrigerator, and you can sleep in the top bunk. And also, when the bench pulls out into another bed, so it's got everything you need. So I, uh, I love my bus. I call it the happy bus. It makes people smile wherever we go. 
You just gotta smile when you see it. Brings back happy memories. I think Paul Menard uh, saw this, saw me at a, a Volkswagen show up in Maine, and uh, he really liked it, and so he invited me down to Sandwich Mass for a show down there, and uh, chose a, you know chose the bus for uh, his magazine. Plus, we also got on uh, his cruise in New England show a few years back. Alice. Alice, Bill and Alice, and this car is yours? Yep. Yes. It's a 1938 Ford Coupe. Came out of Missouri. It was built about 11 years ago. And um, this year we um, pulled it apart, put a brand new engine in it. And we've done some work to it to get it up to where we can go anywhere with it. Uh -huh. And we're out of Center Conway, New Hampshire. Wow, you travel a little ways today. Oh, yeah. That's why we do this. We want to make sure it goes wherever we go, right? <laughs> yeah. Is this your first time at the car show? No, we actually came here last year for the first time. Wow. Yeah. So obviously you liked it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Nice. So. Um, and so you take this out driving on oh, yeah. country roads? Oh, yeah. Yes. We go anywhere. We yeah. go for a nice evening. We'll take it out for a ride. And we try to go as many car shows as we can. <laughs> I'm here today with Ed Gove. Ed, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And tell us a little bit about your vehicle. It's a 1968 F100, and uh, I'm the second owner. Um, I had it when I worked at, which is Key Ford. Now it's the, it uh, was Stacky Ford back then. And this came in, and the guy that owned it wanted me to work on it. So I worked on it ever since, and I got it when it was uh, when he turned it in. And I've had it since since 1970 and uh, um, I took and we went right through it and did a uh, complete restoration except for uh, the underneath which I'll uh, you know that's that's the way it goes and um, but I we have a lot of fun with it and uh, I really enjoy it and it uh, it's one of those things that uh, once you get into it you really like to have fun with it and go out and see the shows. And it's always good to see everybody else at the shows and things. Yeah. Is this your first time at the show? No, I was here last year was the first time. Okay. And, uh, and it was so good, I says, I got to go again. And I'm glad you had good weather today. <laughs> <laughs> I did all the mechanicals and did all the, uh, the uh, putting the windows and everything else in. But I had, paint is not my product. And so I had somebody else do that and they did a very good job. They yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And do you live around here? I live in Cape Netic. Oh, not too far. Far away. from away. Yeah. 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 Just here enjoying the tenth annual car show. Just enjoying time with the family and friends here in Berwick. It's a wonderful event. Beautiful day for it. We're going to do the Legion Awards. The first one, car number 27, Dan Smith, a 31 Ford. Dan Smith for a Legion Award. Come on up, Dan. Can I move this? No bad. I need that. stand there and look pretty right next to you, between us. Right between us. 
You're going to be a rose between two thorns. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. All set? Yeah. The, next, all set. the next one is number 90, a 35 Ford pickup. Frank Glidden. Come on up, Frank. God bless you, young man. Thank you. God bless you. Congratulations. Look pretty for the camera over there, Frank. Oops. Did you bring your honey with you, Frank? Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Get her in the picture. I'll give you the, yeah. give you the trophy. There you go. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we have number three, a 17 Chevelle. Come on up here, Roland. Oh, no. Roland's here. Stand between us and look pretty. Yeah, turn around, you're going to be on TV. Turn around, you're going to be on TV. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next one for the Legion Award is number 37, a 59 Corvette, Nicholas Guy. Nicky Guy. Come on out, Nicky. If I stand here between us, we're going to put you on TV. Don't break it. Nice shirt. Most wanted. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Grab your flag. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All set now? Yeah. Uh, the next one, number 88, is a 1948. God, a Studebaker convertible. Paul Kennedy. 1948 Studebaker convertible. While we're waiting for Paul, you know, I'm, I'm going to call the next one, too. Number 59, a 1967 Volkswagen window van. Mike Baker for Legion of Water. Come on up, Mike. Is Mike Baker coming? Volkswagen. Are you Mike Baker? Mike Oaks. Mike, Mike Oaks. They got you down for Baker. I tried telling them that, but they weren't paying any attention to me. What does that say, Andrew? It says Baker, but okay, I Okay, Andrew. So what did you tell me to read, Andrew? That. Yes, all right. Come up here. Stand between us, please. And look pretty for that lady right there. You're going to be on TV. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. My folks. I'll answer to Annie. All right, you. Mike. <laughs> Thank you. We're waiting somebody for Paul Kennedy representative to get the trophy. I don't know going to show up or not. Jared, anybody? Jared. Come here, you're going to take it for him. <laughs> Can I get Andy? Are we all done here? On behalf of uh, Paul Kennedy, the recipient is Jared Richard. He, he knows him very well, so here we go. <laughs> Next. And now are we going to do more? We're going to do the other one. All right, here we go for the regular awards. Class A. Come on back up, Danny Smith. 1931 Ford, Dan Smith. You could be a habit, huh? Face yeah. the camera, you got to have this TV. Thank you. All right, thank you. Class B, number 87, Steve and Irene Bragg, a 1969 Camaro. Come on up, Irene and Steve. Come on up, Irene, don't be bashful. Don't be bashful. He bites, but I don't. Okay. Right between us here, the both of you. All right. All right. Face the camera. That lady right there. You'll be on Buick TV. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Class C, number 94. Is that Paul Gray? 1989 Mustang. Is that Paul Gray? Paul Gray? Is it gray? Face the camera, you're going to be on TV. All right, all right. <laughs> that lady right thank over you. there. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you, Paul. Class D, 
Number 105, Ray Garcia, 2021 Charger. Come on up, Ray. Come right up here, young man. Stand between us and face the camera. You're going to okay. BCTV. Okay. Say hi to BCTV. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I <laughs> yeah, go Ray. All right. Go with cars. You can get a Car City one. No, that's it. That's a new It's long. <laughs> that one's good. Those, those are your sheets. Those are your sheets. All right, Class E, number 76, Sean Beckett. It says GT500 on my sheet. Sean Beckett on the way up. Gone. He left. Okay. Anybody here want to take a splat to him? Right here. All right. Step right up here, sir. Right in the middle. You're going to get on TV. Oh, great. All right. <laughs> this is alias Sean, Sean Beckett. Beckett. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for doing it. Yep. Next category of uh, trucks, Class F. First one, number 72, Pete Foster, GMC panel van. Come on up, Pete. So we can save a little time. The next class is Class G for truck is Ed Gove, a 1968 Ford F100. Come on up also, Ed. See if we can push this along here. Where's Pete? Are you you Present Your Ed Go? All right. Did you give him the class? You get the right class on it? There's no class. Okay. Just so Look pretty for the lady there. Pull the plaque you. up just so we can see it. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Come on up, Pete. Good to see you, Pete. Been a long time. Yeah, good. You're looking good. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Getting older. That's all, man. Yeah. <laughs> lucky. Lucky. <laughs> All right, smile for the TV. Hold your plaque up for the TV. Okay. All right, thanks, Pete. Class H. Greg Singleton, 1972 Ford F-150. Come on up, Greg. Right behind him at Class I, the winner is Rob Arthur, a two-top 1,023 Ram. Come on up also, Rob. Am I cutting in line? Oh, he's first. Are you, there you go. Are you Rob? Greg. You're Greg. You're, Alrighty. You've Thank been you, doing sir. this. You know how to do it. Now. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Smile for the Actually, camera. You got Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it for myself, right? There you go. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Flash J truck. Oh my lord. One of our former selectives who we exiled him to Rochester now because of certain events that happened. But anyways, Tommy, Tommy Fournier, come on up, Tommy. Come out of exile. I don't have a 21 window. <laughs> you must be Tommy Jr. I am. Ah, it's Tommy <laughs> Jr. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. We're gonna go to the motorcycle. Class K motorcycle. Gary Ricker, 1954 Harley. Some kind of car. How are you? Good. Good. You're Gary. Yeah. Turn around, I, face the camera. Oh, yeah, I'm on TV. TV. Yeah. Yeah. You will be. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Wow, look at that. I'm going to get you off the wanted poster. <laughs> All right, great. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Hold it up. Hold it. Hold it up. Hold it up. I hold it up until you. Okay. <laughs> That's fabulous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't win much. <laughs> Marcel nice. Motorcycle. Phil Roy, 2022 Triumph Bonneville. Come on up, Phil. Get a drop on this. 
smile for the right between <laughs> us here, right, right. between us. Hold the black, black face. Hold it up so they can see. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. So what am I doing now? All right. Next is a class M custom. Class M custom. The Jim Austin, the 1950 Mercury Custom. Come on up, Jim. And the Class O Hot Rod is Eric Pilcher, 1934 pickup. Who are you, sir? Come on up here, face the camera. Yeah, you're gonna be on TV. Yeah. Come up here. Cameras. Come up here, sir. <laughs> Hold the plaque in front of you. Hold that plaque go. in front Perfect. of you. Congratulations, okay. Jim. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Yes. Eric, you're up. Yep. Thank you very face, much. Yeah. Face the camera. Thank you. You're going to be on Berwick TV. Oh, uh, Berwick TV. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep. Channel 22. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. The last award is best overall. The winner is Jim Dunaway, 1957 Ford Skyliner. Come on up, Jim. Best overall. Sneaking up on you guys. Oh. <laughs> Come on, little man. Oh, you want to get in there too? Want to get on TV? Grab the plaque. Hold it up there so she can see it. Smile for the camera, right there, honey. There you, there you go. go. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm told by. By the way, for people who don't know this, what's your name again, sir? <laughs> this is Andrew Lewis Buckman, who was our chairman for the car show. Does a great job organizing this. We want to thank also the many people that Andy goes and see to sponsor us, okay? He has a bunch of loyal friends that have been donating to us now for 10 years. This is the 10th show. And again, thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes, I think we want to thank, uh, what's your name, John? John, what? I think it's John Cox, he said. We want to thank John. Come on up, John. Have your picture taken, too. He's our DJ and has been doing it for a while. He's a great guy. Thank you. We want to thank the ladies auxiliary also for taking care of the food for us. Great job, ladies. Great job. We want to thank, where's Andy Evans? Andy, get up here. Get up here, Andy. We want to give a special thanks to Andy Evans. Andy is a gentleman that Comes here very early and parks all the cars here. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you, Appreciate sir. it. Thank you. Thank you. How about a hand for Andy? All right. Sir. All right. I think that ends it for today. Thank you again for supporting the uh, Berwick Car Show. Thank you very much, people. And thank. We want to thank BCTV also for doing this for us. Thank you. Amen.